That is frost on the jet ski. And that is the sun coming up. And if that doesn't warm this air significantly, this is going to be a very cold start. It's right at 40 degrees. And welcome back to the channel. We are at Ormond Beach on the Intercoastal Waterway, just north of Daytona. And we're going to go up to St. Augustine today. And Danny's here. And Sarah and Sean are going to join us today. And as you can see, it's a bit nippy, so we'll see how this goes. Again, that sun has to warm this air significantly before we uh, head down the river. Sarah's here. She's going to find out how cold that water is. Sean's here. Danny's here. Sarah's there. Tracy is not here. Well, it would definitely be a great day for a wetsuit. Last time I was here two years ago, I wore a wetsuit. It was cloudy and had a little bit of rain in the 60s. Um, just wore neoprene shorts, neoprene booties, and I got my neoprene top on with a Gore Windstopper uh, cycling jacket over it underneath the PFD. So I think I'll do fine, especially with this beautiful sun that's rising. You know I always put my keys in this. Other people laugh at me. They just put them in the front compartment. But I figure if I ever go upside down, the keys are probably going to remain in here and they're going to be dry. And I'll be able to drive home. Be out here, you gotta follow this channel up. It wouldn't start? There's gonna be a current going against us the entire way up because the tide's coming in. It'll be quicker coming back. explain why I led this pass on the right. I thought that this uh, vessel was sort of crowding the center to the left of the channel. So there's actually more room on the right to safely pass them. So that's the decision I made and we were able to stay way off to his right. Augustine it'll get wide it'll probably get rough up here so if anybody wants to lead follow those buoys Let's 
So as I was heading out the inlet to the ocean, I could see Danny and I could see Sean, but I couldn't see Sarah behind me, so I made a little turn. Danny took off for the ocean, Sean's over there, he's heading out there, and I come back, uh, and I do find uh, Sarah, and I ask her if she wants to head out into the ocean, and I get <laughs> a head nod that nope, she's good, she had put the brakes on that sea dude. historic city. I think it's one of the oldest cities in the United States. You can't even tell that Sean. Look at all that stuff he has on. So we'll go back to that Y and go past the fort and then beach there gas up if we need to. I'm down to 33%. What do you do? 41? And then uh, we'll go eat lunch. Yes, how much gas do you have? How much gas do you have? Three bars. Out of what? And that looks complicated. Hey, keep the clothes on, lady. So let's have the vote about Tracy, whether or not we want to keep him in the group. <laughs> We're done at Captain's Barbecue. It's time to head back to the ramp.
start to go out. Well, that got a little wild at the end, but uh, a beautiful winter ride today. Taking place between Christmas and New Year's. Great to get Sarah back out here. Great to get Sean into the group. And as always, we thank you for coming along. If you'd hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps the channel and we appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. So Danny, what do we got going on with that hat? You're sort of notorious for losing hats. I took uh, I took the, the gentleman's suggestion from uh, that YouTube video for the anchor and bought one of these. It's a dude strap? Is yeah, what he called they, it? Oh yeah, I wasn't Googling that. <laughs> <laughs> so you bring it in, pull it down, past the ears. All right, that we may not lose the yeah. hat today. It's nice and tight, that's not going anywhere. Congratulations. Thanks.